welcome to kumar consulting guys with the help of this video tutorial you guys will be able to learn about sap and in sap also a particular module called pico so guys this is the first session i'll tell you guys first session is very important session and here what i have observed like multiple video tutorials are available on multiple uh, different different platforms but if you watch the first session the first session itself is quite confusing and you are not able to understand lots of things so what about the remaining sessions i'll tell you guys one more thing here in sap each and every topics are closely and tightly associated with each other so if there is a problem to understand the first topic what about the remaining of course the same will continue for other sessions also so now without many making any delay let me start my what to say explanations so let me begin with the introduction guys here uh, because since you guys are going to learn let's suppose we are going to learn about sap so the first question which comes in our mind in the sense in your mind is what is sap so here is the answer guys and i think the same answers might be there in your mind also look at here systems applications and product in data processing but is this a correct answer is this a perfect answer guys so if you are going to ask me i will say i will say no this is not the correct answer why because this is just a full form this is just the full form of sap right so now here what is the correct answer guys what is sap the question is still remain and here is the answer the answer is it's an erp it's an erp but again there is a problem now the next question which comes in your mind is so what is erp then because if you don't know erp it means again you are not able to understand about this sap so now what is this erp guys the answer of this question is hidden in the full form of this erp itself so i'll just do one thing now let me decode here so look at here erp stand for enterprise resource planning enterprise means what we all know enterprise is nothing but an organization and if you talk about the resources what are the resources required to run a particular organization so look at here already i have listed out here man money machine machines materials etc right so these are the resources which is required to run a particular organizations and planning planning about what planning about the effective utilizations right effective utilizations of what resources so now here uh, if you talk about the planning it is called like optimizations of effective uh, effective utilizations of these resources guys now if you talk about the definitions look at here the definition is quite simple if you talk about erp erp is nothing but a software or it's a tool which helps an organizations to do effective and optimum utilization of its resources right what are the resources man money machines etc now i'll just quote a very simple example so that you guys will be having perfect understanding about the definitions whatever i quoted here now take example of any organizations here i have quoted example of tata motor instead of tata motor you can take even example of other uh, organizations as well now say for example tata motor is having like uh, several departments out of which few i have quoted here sales department purchase department accounts and finance department human resource department now so take example of any department say for example like i have taken example of sales department right how many total number of employees are there in sales department just assume that 50 employees are there in sales department and let's suppose tata motor is not using any erp right now so if they are not using any erp right now then how the things are going on guys in tata motor so still they are maintaining the registers only in the sense physical registers they are going to maintain sales related transactions are going to be recorded in sales registers purchase related transactions are going to be recorded in purchase registers likewise they'll be having petty cash petty cash registers and multiple other registers will be available and they used to 
handle each and every transactions manually they are not using any erp just assume okay so if they are not using any erp and manually all the transactions are going to be handled by tata motor and that too i'm talking about sales department people so how many total number of employees are there guys total number of employees are 50 out of 50 employee 25 people involved in day-to-day -day transaction posting and remaining 25 involved in report preparations i'll tell you guys report preparations are also equally important why because if you talk about the management of tata motor they are very what to say keen and uh, they will be very much eager to see the reports only why because based on the reports only they will be able to take the all this upcoming actions decisions and all right so now 25 people involved in day-to-day -day transaction posting and remaining 25 people involved in report preparations okay report could be anything what should be the what is the monthly sales what is the quarterly sales what is the half yearly sales and various like customer aging reports various kind of reports are required uh, you know asked by management and these people have to prepare and they have to produce in the sense they have to provide now so this is the scene right now now what will happen guys so this is what like total number of how many employees are required 50 employees are required if Tata Motor is not using any ERP in the sense any software. Now let's suppose if the Tata Motor started to if, if they have decided to use a particular ERP say for example SAP itself. What is the benefit guys then? The benefit is SAP says that if you are going to install our software in the sense SAP software in your organization then you need only 25 employees only 25 employees are required these 25 whichever involved in day-to-day -day transaction posting so now what is happening guys earlier they used to maintain all the transactions in physical registers now the same registers are going to be converted into digital registers digital means instead of maintaining all the transactions physically in multiple registers and all now the same transactions are going to be recorded in sap so this is called a digital registers right so now 25 people earlier also they used to record the registers in the physical in the sense uh, they used to record all the transactions in registers these 25 people required to record the transactions in sap also what about remaining 25 people who involved in report preparations guys these people are not required why because sap says that now the reports are going to be prepared automatically okay because whichever transactions are going to be posted that is treated as an input and based on input once the sap got all the inputs then output is going to be prepared automatically and within a fraction of second uh, the management will be able to see various different different kind of reports various different different kind of reports because once you post the transactions all the reports are getting updated automatically this is what the benefit here earlier manually people used to prepare all the reports right now what is happening guys once they have installed this sap software let's suppose in their organizations then with the help of sap now no need to no need to prepare this report manually automatically sap is going to prepare this reports and all so look at here guys i told you i told about what here i said about this erp right erp means uh, like enterprise resource planning so look at here now it's a software which helps an organization to do effective and optimum utilization of its resources optimum utilization of its resources means what look at here earlier 50 people involved in sales department itself right now only 25 people are going to be part of sales department remaining 25 people can be like uh, tata motor is going to make use of those people in some different activities they are going to assign some different activities so look at here of course there is optimum utilizations are going to happen right now even like we'll be having uh, if you take other examples like let's suppose uh, say for example like way back if you talk about way back in the sense like 50 years back 60 years back in those days uh, if if you talk about our banking systems right so in those days the computers were not prevalent guys and if computers are not prevalent it means like erp was also not there like it was quite new to the market computers and all so most of the like let's suppose take example of this as i quoted like banking sector 
so what is happening guys they used to manage all the transactions like there also they they used to keep all that uh, what to say uh, if you talk about the customer details and all they are going to maintain the registers only right for every client for every customers they used to issue passbook now say for example you're a customer of a particular bank you went to bank for certain transactions and you forgotten your passbook at your home it's in those days let's suppose so what will happen let's suppose if you are going to request to uh, the bank employee and all so what will happen let's suppose they are going to allocate one employee that okay you just do one thing kindly find out the details of uh, this customer now how they are going to find out your details guys now again they will ask some informations okay so you let me know in which year your account was open in this uh, this this like branch then you are able to remember okay it was so and so year so again in that year also since they have opened multiple accounts for multiple customers so several registers are there and every month like several uh, you know like uh, people are going to open their accounts and also multiple registers will be there so out of which again they will say like are you able to remember in which month your account was open so let's suppose he said like it might be may or june or july so look at here might be may june july if he is saying may june july it means like three months might be in three months they have maintained four registers or five registers so how will how it is going to happen one by one he is going to find out the details in each and every registers he has to search manually uh, it there might be possibility that it may take four hours it may take five hours it may take six hours also to find out your details right now what about right now every banks are using certain erp in the sense certain software and let's suppose you need not to carry anything to your bank like if you visited your branch and let's suppose if you are going to uh, go to the help desk wherever the help desk is there like a receptionist is there if you say it's like if you are going to uh, like let's suppose if you tell your name plus your pan card your pan number within a second they are going to your details will be there on their computer screen right if you say your name plus your email id also they will find out all the details right your name plus date of birth and your mobile number right name plus your mobile number only single if you are going to give you simply you are going to give your mobile number so so any small input is required guys with the help of this small input within a second they are going to get all the details right how with the help of this software right with the help of software and this softwares are called erp enterprise resource planning earlier the same activity which used to take like let's suppose six or seven hours now the same activity is going to take it is like they are going to find out your details within a fraction of second so look at here how simple it is right now if you talk about like what are the leading erps in the market guys of course we are having multiple erps multiple softwares are there in the market that is like uh, sap is the of course the highest market shareholder is sap itself then we are having oracle finance jd edward ban ep core peoplesoft tally is also a small erp guys we are having uh, what to say navigation is also uh, you know uh, one small erp we are having quickbook and likewise several erps are there in the market guys but if you talk about the sap it's having like a huge market share there is no one like none of the competitors are there uh, you know there is no any competitions uh, with the sap why because like 60 to 70 percent of the market share is going to be uh, like acquired by sap itself so these are the leading erps in the market guys now here if you talk about sap the sap doesn't mean that we are going to learn entire sap it is going to be segregated in different different modules at broader level these modules are going to be segregated in two parts one is called functional module and second one is called technical module what is the differences between functional and technical guys that you'll come to know in the upcoming sessions because multiple topics are going to be explained and during that automatically you guys will come to know about the differences and all it's not possible to explain each and everything in a single session itself now let me show you certain like example here like how many modules comes under functional module or how many modules comes under technical module few name i have quoted not every what to say modules and all so look at here under functional modules like finance module fi co co stand for controlling mm middle management sd sales and distributions likewise we are having hr module 
multiple other modules are also there which i have not specified here that is like we are having pp module q mod qm module is there uh, you know pm module is there right uh, in technical module uh, like abap and basis these are the very important module guys available so these are the module which is there in sap so this is all about the introduction part guys now in the first session uh, in next session what will happen i'll explain a topic called types of project types of project so uh, like if you're planning to watch uh, if you're planning to buy the access of these videos and all but before buying the access you must watch that video also that is called like types of sap project uh, why it is required guys because most of you i know that you guys are beginner uh, you are a student you don't have much idea about this sap and all right multiple questions will be there in your mind like what will happen like let's suppose you learn this sap once you become sap consultant once you become sap fico consultant then what next right what kind of assignment you are going to get what what should be the nature of those those assignments and all if you talk about the assignment guys assignment is called as a project let's suppose so how many types of projects are there in sap and what are the differences right so multiple things are there guys which will be there uh, which will be there in your mind and all so in next session i'm going to explain i'll give a very simple uh, what to say ex explanations with a simple example and i'll try to explain these things so in next session i'm going to explain the types of sap project so that's all in this session guys thanks for watching